recently I've gotten into using the tarball of Firefox because I got I got Gentoo compiling back here, and I'm not trying to. I, I know you can get the binary, but I'm not trying to compile all of Firefox back here. So I just right. pop on the tarball. And for Ubuntu, if you want to desnapify your life, you can grab the tarball yes, and pop can. it down in there too. Yep. But it turns out now Mozilla, even though they have a snap that's official, they have a flat pack that's official, they have a tarball that's official, they have, um, I guess the uh, the repositories in distributions are technically official. Yeah. There's now another way. There is. We have there. There's a an alternative, more cool way to install firefox great stuff when when you do it yeah yes but it's only right now i don't know if it's going to expand but right now it's for debian based distribution so right. debian and ubuntu and you know mint pop all of everybody right yeah they all get yes. zorin you know everybody that's based on ubuntu and 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 debian i guess rewind the clock a little bit back to right about halloween time uh, Mozilla introduced the Firefox Nightly Deb. Now, this was a way that you could install a Deb version of Firefox, but it was only the Nightly version, and it didn't interest me. I'm not. I don't like to ride the lightning. I was gonna say that's a that's a train I don't even, I don't really want to get on. I mean, thinking about Ooh. that, updating your browser absolutely every day. Mm, yeah, that's 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 daunting. Ooh. That's that's yeah because too you, you close. you're going to want to catch it because it's fixing the bugs that were in yesterday's possibly maybe also introducing new ones which is yes. that, that's the lightning yeah I'm, I'm not trying to ride that yeah no that, <laughs> no not quite that much the new development that came out of all of this was that there's a new repository to right. sit alongside the nightly you have the developer edition and my favorite the beta edition so I agree. you can you can subscribe to whichever channel you want and pull that in so it was the beta edition that that really kind of I, piqued my interest I, I think i agree with you there it's not it's not quite riding the lightning but you're ahead of it a little bit and that's kind of yeah. nice so that you know especially for things like the show we can test some of those things that they're announcing that are coming out when we go to do the browser watch that um we can be you know a little ahead of everybody and and kind of have an idea of what's coming and uh, be able to talk about it intelligently hopefully that's it's kind of important yeah. because um as as we as we move forward the episodes kind of land like right after a Firefox release. They seem like, yeah. So, yeah, so, like, and some of these, some of the things, and again, this is something that we're just not going to cover because we don't have the time because we've got to get to the gnome history. Yeah. We we just don't have a whole lot of time to test, and the, the latest... A couple of days and make a difference, yeah. Yeah. Firefox 120 had a lot of cool features that we just... Uh, uh, so, we'll, they'll, they'll, we'll talk about them, but... We'll, we'll get there eventually, yeah. So we can get on this beta channel, mm -hmm. but it's not just the fact that you get the beta because you could just go out and get the tarball, and as you long could. as you're okay with, you know, basically just copy pastaing Firefox's instructions, it works very cool, and yeah, it, it, it works, it's, well. um, and it works pretty much exactly the same way that Windows and Mac OS work. It does. Yep. It's 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 actually the way I'm running it here. I mean, so yes, I I just copy it off to opt, and uh, you know, then you make a desktop file, and then you're good. And you know, when you go want to update, you go into the about and and or whatever. You know, there's a couple of ways, right? You just uh, hit the you know about Firefox, and it'll start downloading, and it'll say restart to. You know, use your, your new version and uh, the way you go. Just like everything else. And my, my favorite thing about that is that uh, I'm really into cross-platform software because I have... It's the same experience that way, yeah. Exactly. And so, you know, I don't have to think about, oh, well, I'm on Linux today, so I have to install the new Firefox this way. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it is... Um, it, it's, it's a thoughtless process. And, you know, in, in a case like that, I like to be thoughtless. But the cool thing about this, the reason that you would actually care about running the Nightly if you're brave or the Developer Edition if you're slightly less brave or if you're the exact same amount of brave me and Dan are, you can run the beta. There's a reason that you actually want to do that. These devs, these repositories, 
Git optimizations that the tarball and right. the re the repository version. So you know you're running Linux Mint or you're running some other uh, Debian or something like that 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 packages their own Firefox. You're not getting the optimizations that Mozilla is putting into this version of Firefox. So right. here there are four things that they specifically mark as different about the dev file that they're offering you here as opposed to any other way of getting it. So number one, you get better performance thanks to our advanced compiler-based optimizations. You'll get the latest updates as fast as possible because the deb is integrated into Firefox's release process, which I feel like the tarball is, is going to be pretty close to that, right? Yep. I mean, it, well, as far as a not beta, but you can get a beta tarball if you want. Right. Yeah, it's not. You're not waiting on the on the distributions package to get you know built though. Like so, in the right. case of Mint, right? Mint builds their own, and not, that takes about a day. They're pretty quick with it, yeah, but they're not as quick. So this, yeah, is, they're not help. instant. This this will help with that. Yeah, yeah, and then my favorite, you will get hardened binaries with all security flags enabled during this is a good one compilation. So because they know the platform that they're going to be uh, pushing this out to, they know that they can enable some of these compilation flags and they won't, there won't be inconsistencies or incompatibilities. And you're going to get the most hardened Firefox you can get as far as at least Mozilla is concerned. Now, anybody listening to this through Waterfox or something like yeah, that right, is yeah. going to be like, excuse me, sir. I, yeah. I know. I know. But still. Folks that are using actual Firefox. It gives you a good base. Exactly. Exactly. And I think folks that run uh, other derivative versions of Firefox can maybe take some of these security flags and apply yeah. them to their own if they're not already doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm not very familiar with the downstream of Firefox. And I suppose some of, the, some of them might be doing some of those flags, potentially. I'm I'm pretty sure they're doing most, if not all, but uh, there may be a little something that that uh, that they can add to their own. I'm all right with special sauce. Yeah. Now here's the one that I'd take maybe a little bit of issue with, but I, I haven't run Firefox this way in a long time, so I'm not positive. So they note that you can continue browsing after upgrading the package, meaning you can restart Firefox at your convenience to get the latest version. Now. The only time I've ever had this issue is when I've apt upgraded and then Firefox at some point decides to just say something to the effect of, oh, oops, we oopsie doodle. We, oh, yeah, we can't no, get no. there. You need to restart your browser. Yeah, we super duper crashed and now you got to, and I really just dislike that friendly language that everybody is doing mm. nowadays. Microsoft is the worst offender, but everybody just, whoopsie baby, oh no, I yeah. dropped all, oh, oops, ow, how, wowie. How about, it's broken, you need to restart now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like, uh, you know, I got to give props to to Google at least because they're, oh, snap, and it's, you know, mm. it's somewhere in the middle, I guess. I don't know. I guess so. But using the repository versions, that, that's the only time I've ever run into this. But they're saying that using their repository, you won't run into this. So I'm assuming... I don't know why, but I don't... But I'll, I'll try anything, you know. I mean, that sounds good. Yeah, because I don't think I've run into it with the flat pack. I know I haven't run into it with the tarball because it, it updates like everybody else. And it's just like... It restarts. Yeah, yeah. excuse me, sir. Can we restart you? Or, yep. and, and, yeah. or you just close the browser. There's, a button. And it's like, There's actually a button. Guess what, man? You closed it. We're updating. And, mm. and that's the perfect time to do it. I love that it does it that way. That's why I kind of like the cross-platform feel of it. Okay, yeah. so we're really going to have to dive into this and figure out whether or not that's... Well, I think how, I'm, how, I'm, I'm switching now. Like, I just switched to this because I was uh, annoyed, and it's a minor annoyance, right? The Plasma browser integration stuff um, okay. so that you can start and stop your, your YouTube videos. Oh, um, yeah. But it's not just that. Like, then I can do it with KDE Connect, so then I can do it with my phone. Oh, that's right. You were so, talking about that. So that's, okay. that was, it's a super duper small gripe, to be honest. But Is it, though, remote <laughs> control? 
I don't do it a lot, but when I do it, I like it. So, I mean, you know, it's a convenience thing. It's a first world problem. No, convenience is top of the heap, man. We're we're talking we're we're talking Firefox has like a 2% something share or whatever. It's the convenience factor that yeah. isn't converting yeah. people. O- no. Obviously, there's a whole Chrome monopoly thing going on as well. I mean, the you know, problem true, with, but... is there like the snaps or the flat packs. Neither one of those will work with the integration right. because it's confined. And that's fine. Like I get that. And that's great. I really, I'm appreciative of that confinement for the most yeah. part. This is one of those that I wish I, there was a way to get the portal working there. The tarball. So, yeah. So I did. That's what I did. I ran the tarball. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy yeah. with that. But um, I really, think you know we talked about for the show i'd like to actually go the beta route and what yeah. better time than to go with this and maybe i mean technically i can install them both alongside i suppose yeah yeah well and, and it's not just official it's official with flavor yeah from from the place yeah yeah optimizations i mean yes yes this is the firefox i think i want to run too i'm i'm curious at the end of this month, are they going to announce the stable version of this? Because that's that's for the rest of the... Or or ESR? What about ESR? Ooh. But I, some people mm, need that, though, for different compatibility true. things, right? Especially in enterprise and whatnot. Um, okay. You know, you might need to, you know, have a, have a stable thing. And I, maybe. I don't know. Okay. All right, I'll give that to you. ESR the, is important to some people. Yeah, hey, it's it's <laughs> it's good enough. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. So I'm hoping. So we got the nightly. We got the developer branch. We got the the beta branch. Maybe there'll be a stable. Maybe then there'll also be an ESR, and that'll cover all the bases. That'll be all of them. There's nothing. That, <laughs> there's nothing else. <laughs> those are the versions. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that'll be really cool. I like the yep. optimizations. That's that. That's why it convinced me. Hey, you can watch our faces on YouTube. You can subscribe there and, you know, ding the little bell thing and then get the notifications and all that jazz. Um, so, you know, you get this right here. This is great. And I might even remember to put the little animation that goes right here when you say that. Probably wherever, not. Wherever that thing is. Anyway. You can laugh at me when it doesn't sh- Something show somewhere. Up. I don't know. <laughs> right here. <laughs> anyway, the other thing is if you just want to catch those little history sessions that we do, um, you can do that right over on Tilvids and, uh, you know, support them. And just like, you know, you support us. They're they're a great platform. I really love uh, Tilvids and I'm I'm glad they they, they sponsor our, our episodes. I, I've. I feel like PeerTube is a, is a great platform, and they're a good steward of that. So, I mean, very, very appreciative. Yeah, and they're and they're a bit insular too. So, I mean, you you yeah. kind of have to you have to go there. You have to do it. You to do. get it. Yep. So, if you haven't gone to Tilvis, there's a lot of other. I mean, Linux Experiment and Edu- uh, Edutainment, they call it. That's, yeah, and yep. Veronica explains a bunch mm-hmm. of other cool stuff there too. So, I mean, if you're looking for that kind of thing in a very in a, in a more free whatever but we're there too and and it's the fediverse hello that's pretty awesome so if you want to subscribe to it in your mastodon feed you can do that like you totally (gasps) do that right and then everything and then you know when every episode drops and so that's that's a nifty thing i think um yeah think about that like you can't do that on x or zitter or twitter or whatever you're calling it can't do that over there you know, if you if you ultimately if you love what you hear and see on the show, uh, make sure to support us over on Patreon. You get some great perks. Uh, you get to join, uh, you know, a patrons only Discord channel. You get uh, you get to be, uh, you know, on on our Lemmy instance if you want to. Just make sure to you yeah. know ring us up and let us know that you're you're looking into that. I saw you, LQ Larry. I got you. You're, we you're got there you, Larry. Now. Yeah, sorry it took so long. I I don't know what I was Whoops. doing. I missed it. Uh, listen, we just weren't looking at the little clipboard icon. That's, that's what yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, I Whoops. know. And so, you know, there's there's some great stuff. Plus, you get episodes early, and you get high quality episodes, and all that good stuff. Mm. So, so we appreciate you supporting us. So we give back. That's how that works. And thank you. And thank you. <laughs>